Hello, everybody. This is the more completed form of the Odin's Nose. I've put on all the cladding I need. I've put on the uh, 14 laser antennas that I needed on their struts like this. And I've gone ahead and loaded it up with 6 out of the 13 drones it can carry. The interior hasn't changed very much, but I did add 6 missile turrets, and that turret that kept breaking? It can't break anymore no matter what you do to it. So it can flop around all at once. It's surrounded in glass because it's not shooting anything, it just needs to point in a direction, and uh, it can do that well enough from inside of a glass cage. How effective is this ship? How fast is it? Well, first off, it's a little bit sluggish to turn. Uh, I might add another another uh, gyro or two if I can find a good spot for it, but it still has a lot of pep, for a carrier especially. So let's talk a little bit about battle strategy. Now in most games you are going to uh, be playing alone. So this ship does have a solo battle strategy. The ship itself is not going to survive sustained conflict conflicts with the enemies. Um, the ship is is got some heavy armor here and there, but it's really intended to just sustain skirmish damage, you know, resist a little bit of here and there. If you get into pitched combat with this ship, you're probably going to be in trouble. Uh, but that's not a huge deal, because there are ways to end pitched combat before it starts. One of those ways is that you'll be able to launch all of your drones forward with just a click. And that will automatically launch them out of their bays and forward. I don't have the automatic, de uh, un I don't have the automatic undocking done yet, because the drones... Every time you load them up and they're docked to the ship, they can't tell which timer is theirs and which landing gear is theirs, so I've got to work that out. Um, but in short, the drones can, uh, can launch and fly forward on their own, and they can engage the enemy before you get anywhere near it. Now, this ship does have six missile turrets. They're more for broadsides and running away, but there is a technique that uses all of your assets very well, because once you've launched the drone, you've got this big nose which is just armor. It does nothing useful for you because it has no ships in it. And if your drones are going to get pounded and destroyed, they're not going to be able to land again. So the ship converts really easily into a ramming vessel. Oh, I... Uh, hold on. I want to turn on the turrets so you can get a good, good look at all the turrets as they fire here. Obviously, the drone turrets will fire just as well as everything else. So, turret block on. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and see how well this works. Oh wow, they all got destroyed somehow. Alright, well let's take a look at our ships, shall we? This ship was really not intended to survive ramming. Come on. Let's take a look before it escapes from our view, because it's flying away. Wow, I think it's flying away at max speed. That's, that's super fast. This is so cool. Look at all this debris floating around. So this is the ship that we rammed. We rammed it right amidships. Oh, our drones are still shooting it. Look at that. <laughs> That's very funny. And uh, we basically tore it in half. We took out all of the reactors and cargo decks and uh, all of the living space. We basically totally cored it. There's nothing left of that ship. Um, now, before I lose track... Oh, shit. Where's the uh, original? Um... I 
think it was this way. I should have turned on the beacons. I didn't think about it. So this is the ship we rammed with. Let's see how well it fared. As you can see, the front end is basically gone. And all four of its uh, uh, prongs got seriously damaged. It's still got one or two laser antennas in case you need to try and regroup after the fact. But you can see that the damage to the ship was very contained. It basically just lost its nose. We cut off Odin's nose, but the rest of the ship is completely intact. We took a little bit of barking damage, so we got a damaged turret and a couple of other small details, but the ship is fully intact, and I can show you that. We'll go inside. So compare this to getting rammed amidships and being completely destroyed. This ship doesn't even have any pressure loss. We still have full oxygen seal. And... It looks like we did lose our AI. Did it break? Let's take a quick look here. It's still running, so my, my bet is that we dam oh, of course. Um, we damaged the bricks that we're using that we were using to measure how fast we were going. They're gone now, so we can't do that anymore. They have no position to get. So our engines are, are, are stuck. But um, that's not a huge deal. I mean, that's... For the amount of damage we did to our enemy, we completely devastated it using this ramming technique. So I'm not too sad at all. We didn't, we didn't lose any functional components other than uh, that one very, very basic uh, system. And I could probably make that work by changing which block it uses to read what forward means. Either way, this was fun. This is the far more uh, capable and in-depth and fully functional ship. I'm going to do a lot of testing, and I'm going to go ahead and try to polish up some of the launching and landing features, but in short, this ship, it works. So I hope you enjoyed this video and this series about creating these carriers. Um, I don't know how many carriers I'll create, but I certainly want to try one with a much bigger set of, of ships and a gravity drive and so on, but that's still in the future. For now, this will do.